Attending classes online is indeed challenging, but that doesn't mean that we're going to compromise the quality of developing the skills of our students, especially their writing skills. So, paano nga ba? Ano nga ba ang dapat gawin? Kailangan pa bang dumaan sa email, upload, download, and then repeat the process? Paano kung mabagal yung signal? Okay, let me share with you what I am doing in my classes, and let's also find out how Google Docs is of great help. Let's get started. For example, I have given an essay writing task to my students and let's see what are they gonna do and what are we gonna do as teachers in processing their submitted outputs. Okay, let's find out. So for example, estudyante ako at nirequire ako ng teacher ko na gumawa ng isang essay. And dapat itong essay na to ay gumamit ng Google Docs. To start, pupunta ako sa Google search at itatype ko Google Docs. Ayan. Pupunta tayo sa pangalawang result, yung merong docs.google.com sa taas. Ayan. Pag nag-load na, magsa-sign in tayo. So, itatype natin yung email ng ating Google account. at pati na rin yung ating password. Ayan. So, once na na-type na natin yung ating sign-in credentials, darating tayo sa home screen ng Google Docs. Dito natin makikita yung mga templates na pwede natin gawin. So, for example, pwede kang gumawa ng book report, ng resume, ng letter, ng project proposal, marami yan. Pero, since gumagawa lang naman tayo ng essay, blank ang pipiliin natin. Okay, so once na nag-fully load na yung Google Docs, makikita natin yung screen na to. Ito ang ating workspace. Nandito yung options para baguhin yung font style, yung font size, kung magbo-bold, italicize, underline. Uh, kung babaguhin natin yung color ng text, nandito rin yan. Maraming options. Kung mag-highlight tayo ng text, nandito yan. So marami rin colors. So yun nga, uh, Tinask ako ng aking teacher na gumawa ng isang essay. Magsisimula ako by typing the title of my essay. So, for example, ang title ng aking essay ay Being a Student During the Pandemic. Ayan. So, magsisimula na ako mag-type once na nagawa ko na yun. Pusing ko muna ito, ha? Ayan. Tapos na ako. Ang bilis lang, di ba? So, once na tapos na ako and uh, nasigurado ko nang gusto ko yung font style, uh, gusto ko yung uh, font size, pwede ko na itong isubmit sa aking teacher for checking. Paano yun? Pupunta tayo dito sa upper right, sa share icon. Kiklik natin to and lalabas yung screen na to. Share with people and groups. Ita type ko ngayon yung email ng teacher ko. So for example, uh, si Jocelyn Gagalang. I'll click enter and lalabas tong screen na to. The first thing na dapat nating i-check is yung editing permission. Dapat when we are submitting to our teacher, editor ang nakaset. Kasi pag editor, pwede niyang i-view, edit, and comment yung document natin. Pag viewer lang, wala siyang magagawang changes. Hindi siya makakapag-suggest ng mga corrections, ng mga dapat i-revise, etc. So, isi-set natin yun sa editor. Also, may message box dito. So, type natin yung gusto nating message sa ating teacher. So, for example, here is my submission for the essay requirement. Ayan. And once natapos na natin lahat dito, we'll click send. Pag nakita natin yung person added, that means na successful tayo sa pag-submit sa ating teacher. And yun na, maghihintay na tayo ng comments or revisions from our teacher. Okay, let's see what my student had submitted. So let's click this one. 
there we would see the contents of his essay okay the title is being a student during the pandemic so as teacher of course we have to check so we have to read several times now if we are going to comment for example we don't see the title here reflected so we're going to highlight one word for example we see the plus sign here so add a comment then click it then we have to put here our comment have a title okay then click comment so the student will be able to see our comment for his output and definitely he could adjust already or we could already put our own comment here so let's have here put here your title put here your title okay there we have it okay and then how about in other parts for example, we don't see an indention, then we could have here in this first sentence, for example, highlight the first sentence and then add another comment. So what are we going to say? Indent the beginning of paragraph or slash s. That means all paragraph beginnings have to be indented. Okay, and if there are some more that you would do you wish to comment on so for example to cheat and ruin ourselves is it ourself or ourselves so if we want this to be consistent pertaining to we for example so have here highlighted and then add a comment so just the same thing for example ourselves okay must be ourselves or or there's a suggestion here you could click the suggestion and automatically it will be corrected and a whole lot more so we could freely comment and then after that we can exit the file because automatically our student here see this one in pink so that means this time our student is online and he could actually see what we are doing with his submitted document so he could peruse right away our suggestions or comments okay there we have it guys madali lang diba madali lang po mga ma'am and sir at mga learners ganito yung ginagawa namin sa submission ninyo kaya submit nyo what's the good thing here so anytime we could open for example i would like to open the file i still have the energy to check on this by 11 p.m so pwedeng pwede or as i wake up in the morning while i'm taking my breakfast pwedeng binabasa ko yung document nyo napakagaan wala nang uploading wala nang downloading na magaganap and at the same time we could actually chat with our students for example hi check out my corrections okay so there we have it our student can immediately receive the chat that we have sent here so hindi ka nalalabas ng google docs for example para gumamit ng another chat platform dito sa google docs makikita na makakapag chat na kayo okay so na submit na na check na na edit na pwede pang magpalitan ng messages ang professor at ang estudyante especially kapag malapit na yung deadline or gahol na for example for publication staff Coming from the writer to the section editor to the associate editor and to the editor-in-chief. So, pwede silang sabay-sabay dito sa Google Docs na to. Mahalaga nakashare ito sa mga kasamang ka-team members. Okay. Also, saan po ito pwede ma'am gamitin? Pwede rin ito sa group research or sa group thesis. So, for example, one is working on chapter one. For example, introduction. Another is working on background of the study. For example, yung isa is a definition of terms. Pwede kayong sabay-sabay na nagtatrabaho dito. Kaya mabilis na maa-accomplish yung task ninyo. So this is very team-friendly. Kaya napakabilis maa-accomplish yung mga tasks. So pwede individually, pwede by group. Okay, kahit ilan kayo dito, basta isi-share mo siya dun sa mga katim mo na Gmail din yung kanilang ginagamit na email address. 
Okay, so there we have it. If you have more questions, lagay lang po dun sa comment section sa ating YouTube channel and we will help you out to have your written tasks or writing tasks accomplished effectively and more efficiently. Madali lang, di ba? So I hope you have learned and enjoyed what we have talked about for this video. And don't forget to subscribe, click the like and bell icon for more lesson videos, practical tips, and anything educational. Thank you so much. Have fun learning!